Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the show, a card opening show. We've got what we could find of retail packs today. We've got a couple mega boxes of Tops Update. Yes, that is back, unfortunately. Uh, we did manage to find two cellos of the Prism Draft. Um, not my favorite product, but the cards look really good. And then we also got some mail day stuff. Um, we got three packages today in the mail, so this is gonna be fun. Uh, I wanna start out with the mail day stuff, so we're just gonna shift this stuff to the side for a second. And I tried to blur out most all their names and stuff because we don't want anybody seeing what's in here or, or getting back to them or yada yada, all that good stuff. So just make a cut, see what's in this one. Mailer inside of a mailer, that's always good. I don't quite remember what's in each of these. I know what I've been buying, but I don't quite remember what's in each of these. This does look to be cardboard protected, so that's good. The one that worries me is actually that uh, little bitty uh, envelope. Oh, what do we got? Oh yeah, I remember this one now. This was a investment card that I'm trying to pick up. Let's see if I can do this. It is a Troy Brown Jr. Panini Prism Silver Prism, and it's a nine. Um, yeah, this is just a card that a guy that I'm actually trying to pick up right now, just for investment purposes. Let's see if we can get some of that light glare down. See if I'm hitting the right button. There we go. Where's he at? There it is. Um, I think there's some value in this. I got this one for a really good price. We're not going to disclose, but uh, slab nine. And yeah, it was just a really good price. So that that's a nice one. Hey guys, I did bring my trash can today. So no extras hiding in there. No little notes. We're good. Going on to the next one. Let's see what we got in here. Goal in life, don't cut so. All right. And, oh, yep, there we go. Guess what? We got more Troy Brown stuff. When I get on to one person, I usually buy a whole bunch of that one person. All right. And then this... We should have several versions of his prism. All ungraded. Again, this is a really good price. We got base prisms, base prism. We'll have to look over these close. Centering looks off on this first one a little bit too much. It's probably 60-40. Centering doesn't look so bad on this one. Then we got a fresh phenoms from prison. Another base prism and a red, white, and blue from prism. Ooh, you can see the centering's off on that one big. But these are just raws, so again, really good deal. When you're picking up in bulk, you can usually get a pretty good deal. Um, if I can get it one or two nines out of this, it more than pays for what we're gonna do. Uh, Troy Brown. It's one of my investments. Let's see. I think I can just probably rip this. Oop. I don't know if he sent an invoice here. Yep, he sent the invoice. Oh, yeah. This is the other card I've been looking at and picking up. Just a second. Let me peel off all this tape. I don't like that um, he didn't put double-sided cardboard on this. He just... Yeah, he didn't seal the card shut, which is just a horrible flaw. But this is Trent Grisham's SP from Tops Update. Um, you can see it. I am very high on Trent Grisham. Let's go ahead and we'll see if we can get it out here. 
we'll give it a quick inspection. All right, surface. I don't know, we got some flaws right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, kind of right there. You can see some surface flaws. It's not necessarily good. Corners do look sharp. Centering. Pretty, ooh, this corner looks dinged too. Let's see if we can catch it. Yeah, you kind of see it right there. A little raise up on that corner. But that's what you get when you buy a raw card too. You could get some junk. So this card will never be graded. We will sell it raw again and probably disclose when Trent Grisham becomes great. Because I have a lot of faith in this kid. I'm telling you, look at the numbers. Trent Grisham, pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, so we got a pack opening after mail. That's fun, right? We're going to do the fun stuff because God knows I've opened it up enough update that I'm not that excited to open up more. Maybe we get an auto today. Maybe we don't. We can get an auto in one of these. I've pulled an auto out of one of these cello packs before. Um, they do come with the, uh, I think they're pink prisms. The three, bonus, I don't know, three, yeah, it's a bonus three pack. I think they're pink prisms. We'll see here. Maybe we get a Torkelson, Herstad, or Garrett Crochet. They are not pink, they are blue. Garrett Crochet, nice card. Justin Lang, and a Colton he Keith. Hmm, I feel like I should know that name. But Garrett Crochet, as we all know, made his major league debut last year after getting drafted, which is pretty amazing. Uh, especially since the White Sox were actually contenders. All right, so let's get into the base pack here. Uh, obviously looking for the big names. Um, but if we can grab an auto, really good, good prism. I don't necessarily, just a green prism in there. Let's see what we got. Shane Drouin. Tanner Murray. Jordan Walker. Hayden Cantrell. Adam Seminaris, Robert Hassel, and our green is a firework, Zach Veen. That's actually a pretty good one. Zach Veen should be, he's a pretty high pick. Um, oh, and look who's hiding out behind him, Mr. Torkelson. We'll take that. So we're going to sleeve those two up. Reed Detmers, Jimmy Glowinky, Tyler Soderstrom, and Addison Coffey. So not bad, pulling a Torkelson and that green fireworks of Zach Veen. But again, these cards do not hold a lot of value. Just like with any Prism draft, they are not the same as regular Prism. Regular Prism is like the go-to gold. These just have the great look of Prism, but not the value. Um, they do basketball and football as well. All right, let's see what we got. Caden Polkovich. I mean, the cards are beautiful here, let's be honest. Joey Weimer. He's a bear cat. And Warner Blakely. Must have been a high school kid. Alrighty. I don't see anything too great in those. I could be completely wrong. And if anybody just like, hey, you just pulled yourself a $10 card because I don't see any of those being worth that. All right. Let's see if we can go two for two on Torkelson's. Or maybe we could catch that Heston. I do got a really good Heston curse stat out of this. We did get, looks like an insert and a green there. All right, so let's see what we got. Bailey Horn, AJ Vukovic, we've already pulled him. Aaron Sabato, Thomas Gerard, Kale Emshoff, Evan Carter, Silver. We do like Silver, so we'll always set those aside. And we got a Max Meyer 
green. And that is a pretty cool looking card. And see what the insert is? It's not an insert, it's just a really unique background on that one. Pete Crow Armstrong. Just a really unique background. All right, CJ Van Eck, Trevor Hover, Ian Sizemore, and Mick Abel. I wonder if he's related to Nick Abel. So, um, out of prism, couple cool greens. Um, my thing with the greens are both um, parallels, or not parallels, but inserts. You know, I'd rather see greens of the player. Uh, Evan Carter, hollow, and then, or silver, and then Spencer Torkelson. Those cards will get sleeved up. But for now, let's move on to that great, wonderful 2020 Tops update. Man, I wish I could found cards today. The LCS was closed that I go to. Uh, we may save one of these boxes for tomorrow. We'll do one today. Yeah, we'll do one today and one tomorrow. That way we can have something for tomorrow because I don't know if I'm going to leave tomorrow because there is no Excel drops tomorrow, guaranteed. I probably hit up, oh, I want to say the better part of 20 different places today trying to find cards and only found cards at two. From CVS, Walgreens, um, Target, Walmart. Yeah, it was it was a very difficult day. And I knew I knew the odds that the any Excel drops today were gonna be thin, but man, I really could have used something other than Tops Update. I mean I should be happy we got some prism. Alright, so with these mega boxes, like this is a great deal. If you want cards, the Tops Update Mega Box. It's 40 bucks at Target, okay? If you got a red card, it takes another 5% off. Like after tax, you're all in for like $41, which is pretty awesome. Um, and you get a lot. Like you get a lot of cards. Well over 200 cards. It's just, a, it's, a, it's a big undertaking actually to do one of these. I'm probably gonna fly through it pretty quick. Uh, if any of you have watched Jab's Open Cards, probably that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a mass you know we'll do four at a time or something like that um, that way we don't have to sit there and go through each of the packs because this while the sets like 300 cards man I've seen all these cards so many times what we are looking for is the Randy Rosarania and how you know he's coming is Cameron Mabin will be the card right in front of him um, and then we're also looking for short prints um autographs would be great but i've only pulled one autograph out of this um you yeah, think i've pulled many more there are some good hollows golds you know there are some good cards but for the most part yeah we're we're just we're just opening cards to put content out right now because <laughs> these to me i've got so much of it uh, I think I did a count, and I have uh, 15 Trent Grishams out of this. If that gives you any idea how many I've opened, how much I've opened up on this, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like 13 goats, uh, Randys. So, all right, I think that's four packs. We'll just start running through it. Um, I don't see any mem cards when we're looking down here. You see the turkey gold or the turkey reds or those brown ones. Um, and this one looks like it's got something, maybe some kind of insert. We'll see. All right, we're actually gonna flip this down because I'm gonna go pretty fast and I wanna use my hands. All right, so we got Taylor Ward. Then we got Donovan Solano. I think we pulled the, most of these cards yesterday. Kurt Caselli, Cody Stashak. Buster Posey, don't bust the move, bust the Posey. High 10, the two mats celebrate. Chapman and Olsen. Giancarlo, Brett Anderson. Picture of the decade, David Cohn. There's that Royals blue, love that. John Smoltz, these cards can be numbered, but you'll know when they're numbered. Um, there's, there's certain colors that you look for. 
just like these Turkish golds can be chrome. Uh, if you can get to one of the rookies like a Lubob or a Bichette, Alvarez, even a Kino and Lux, um, that'd be good ones. Jordan Montgomery, Pete Alonzo, Neil Walker, Craig Cabell, Jordy Mercer, Richard Blyler, Diego Castillo, Josh Tomlin, Andrew Nitzer. Time to party! I don't know what they're partying in Boston for. Lindor, Verlander. Look at that, two Hall of Famers in a row. And let's see, here it is, the top's chrome. Turkish red, they're pretty cool looking cards. I do like them. Doesn't really have any value. Trey Turner's a good player too. Uh, Ronald Cooney Jr., these are the inserts that come with the mega boxes from Target. Uh, you get Ronald Cooney Jr. stuff. And again, these can be numbered as well. I have not pulled a numbered version out. I don't know. Ooh, and there we go. We got a good one. That's probably one of the best cards we can pull, but it looks horribly off center. One side to the other. We'll sleeve that. I'll put in a sleeve pile. Not too many sleeve piles coming. Oop, there's a Yordan. Even though it's a rookie debut, we'll put it in a sleeve pile. Alex Avilia, Aaron Judge, Sterling Marte, Andrew Suarez, Miggy, Julio Duran, Houston, McCutcheon, Pujols, Grenier, Amelia. We got a Javi Baez out of the 35th anniversary stuff. Sitsugo from Tampa Bay. You know, Cy Sneed rookie, Jose Peraza, Daniel Hudson, Cole Calhoun, Taiwan Walker, Ryan Weber, Starlin Castro, Kevin Plawicki, Ty France, Anthony Rizzo. Is he going to be in Chicago? I don't know, man. Looks like they're going to be trading away most of it. Tim LaCostro, crazy speed. Gavin Lux, rookie debut. Let me sleeve up that. Albert Pujols, Zach Wheeler, Mike Montgomery, hollow. Hollow foil. Traded away and came back to the Royals. Gary Carter, Turkey Red, Sky Bolt, Jacob DeGrom, Mike Moustakas, Devin Williams. Guy, I think he's eligible to win Rookie of the Year again this year. Look at that. I don't know if that's on the card. I don't feel anything. Devin Williams and Edwin Encarnacion. Encarnacion! I can't do as well as uh, Phil Hughes does it, but... We, I don't have the editor Phil Hughes has either. <laughs> it's the little things, right? It's the little things. We're gonna set these off to the side. We'll keep our recap pack. And now we're gonna go back to our rip, our mega rip strategy. Oh, I guess I should show this. Here is your odds of pulling stuff. See those foils are one in 10 gold. So we should get one gold per box. Vintage stocks are pretty rare. Got a couple of them. But yeah, you don't get a lot of great stuff. And there's no purchase necessary stuff too as well. You just complete sets. That's all you do with these. And I know I need to just like put five or six or seven or eight, ten of these sets together. Sell them. Oh yeah, we're just stacking. I forget. I already forgot what I was doing. I was getting ready to go through them. So I don't know if anybody else has opened up as much as I have and for personal, because this is personal, this is for nobody but myself. Um, but if you have, let me know, man, because I can't see other than just for content, opening any more of this ever again. Oh, look at that. We did get a goat right off the top. Don't even get to see Cameron Mabin. We get to see Randy the Goat. So by far the best rookie card in this set. He's going into the sleep pile. Well, we're getting lots of debris down here. Um, don't see any hits. See a little cool stuck together, but anyway, Sandy Leon, Davy Grion, Alec Mills, no hitter, Ian Miller. Max Scherzer, Kevin Kinkle, Roldis, I beat my girlfriend Chapman, Derek Holland, uh, and 80s decades best. Again, these can be numbered, but this is just like the base entry. Craig Biggio, I like to cheat. 
cow, Higa Chaloki, Ah, I Like to Cheat Times Two, JT Riddle, Zach Grinky, Hall of Fame, Jose Martinez, Martinez, Josh Harrison, Jorge Lopez, Cameron Maven, <gasps> should be right here. I'm guessing that's the end of that first pack, because he, sh he should be right here. That's weird. Uh, Aaron Judge, Cal Ripken Jr., Kyle Wright. Ooh, so we do have a, sh it's just the gold, but still. You see how they turn around backwards for you so you can, when you know you're catching a short print. David Price, the gold, numbered to 2020, 1748 to 2020. Um, we're good for one of those a box. Um, you'll find it with your SPs and your super SPs, your SSPs, will be the same way. They'll be flipped backwards as well. Um, but the only way, we, well, we'll see if we catch one. Hopefully we catch one. Castellanos, Stevenson, Sean Puppin, Michael Fulmer, Bo Bichette. Love me some Bo. Jesus Aguilar, Nolan Arnado, Juli Sassin, Mark McGuire, Big Mac Attack, Louis Severino, The Jesus Lizard, and Kyle Lewis, Rookie of the Year, Johnny Davis, and Jacob DeGrom, I think is the best pitcher by far in the league. Pull the bear and the squirrel, Jeff McNeil and Pete Alonzo. Willie Mays, 1985 design. Do love me some Willie Mays stuff. I'm going to get me some Willie Mays cards eventually. Um, Byron Buxton, Turkey Red, Edwin Encarnacion, Wade LeBlanc, Joe Panic, Kyle Ryan, Josh Taylor, Brandon Dixon, Brendan McKay, two way player, Alex Wood, Christian Yelich. Francisco Cervelli, Sean Murphy, Anthony Alford, Hunter Pence, Giovanni, Tyler Stevenson, number one prospect card. Eddie Murray, Turkey Red, Sam Haggerty. I like this card from Jose Iglesias, just the way they shot it. But and you'll, I will always know this card as 2020 update card. Uh, Jonathan Villar, Anthony Rendon, and a Frenchie Cordera. Pretty sure Franchi's with the Royals. Or no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm wrong there. I'm thinking of a different different player. I'm sorry. I, I, I stayed, made a wrong statement. Don't haunt me. Don't haunt me. All right. We got eight more packs of this. And then we up and load. <laughs> so we haven't really got... I mean, we've got all the rookies for the most part. Because Lou Bob doesn't actually have a look rookie card in this, in the update. Uh, only thing you get is his turkey red stuff. Um, but Bichette, Aguilar, uh, Lewis, or not, Bichette, Alvarez, Lewis, Lux, Aquino, they are all in this. So, catching all those, because every other box, you're going to catch them. <laughs> So that means one box, you're really, I think it's just the Kinos in them for the most part. Alrighty. Any hits? Doesn't look like any hits. Let's go. Maybe we can catch an, another number card. Brian Johnson, Eric Thames, Mitch Moreland, Ronnie Tellez, Mark McGuire. How many cards does McGuire have? Zach Grinke, Kyle Farmer, Darrell Cotton, Brock Holt, a Willie McCovey. Yeah, he was a good one too. Mark Grace, he was kind of an a-hole. Chris Iannetta, Miles Straw, Nico Horner. That's another good rookie card. Not a lot of value for the debuts, but who knows? Maybe they turn into Mike Trout, right? They're not going to. Psst, don't tell anyone. Chris Sale, Kyle Crick, Albert Pujols, Steve Ciszek, Frank Schwindel, used to be a Royal. Uh, Anthony Cincinzella, he had actually a really good year. Chris Owings, used to be a Royal. Richie Martin. Philip Deal, Scott Barlow, Israel, uh, Akiyama, rookie into Turkey Red. So, Shogo, Shogo. Nick Solak, I like him too, but not a lot of value in him. Tyler White, Yachty, Kenta, Todd, Todd Father. Not the right Todd Father, but he's referred to as Todd Father. Magnus, we got a Cody B, Josh Lindblom, Pedro. Yusumero, Logan Morrison, he's actually, he went to high school like two miles away from where I live.
Kyle Gibson, Robinson Chirinos, Drew Prutero used to be a Royal. The captain, Derek Jeter. Ooh, there's a good Beau Bichette turkey red. We'll take that. Daniel Descalso, Drupal Cabrera, Pedro Strope, Jorge Alcala, Brad Peacock, Price, Garcia, Trout, love me some trout. Austin Pruitt, Trout, love me some trout. Edney Echeverria, Justin Furlander, Hall of Fame, Todd Frazier, Adelise Garcia, another Ronald Acuna card, CC Sabathia, Turkey Red, Benya, Smiley, Trout, Wilson, Reyes. Look at this stack of commons that we get out of one box. So many commons. How are we going to keep them straight? We won't. We'll just pack them away in a thousand count and say, hopefully we never have to look through you again. <laughs> there should be no card sort. Hopefully that's going to make me look through there because there should be no young rookie that we don't know about. All right. We got four packs left, guys. Hang on. Can we finish strong? Can we catch something? Something of, other than base. Can we get a foil? Can we get a number, just short print? I mean, I'd like to see a short print, that'd make me happy. Maybe a short print Grisham to make up for the crappy one I just bought. That has damage on it. All right. Let's see if we got anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. So let's get into it. Junior, Yoshi, Miggy, David McKay, Derek Cheater, Ichiro, Lindor, pretty card. King Griffey Jr., God, look at that iconic pose. And Cesar, Thurman Munson, died way too soon. Ron Santo, Chase Anderson, Adam Ingvall, Eric Mejia, Alex Landino, King, Rivera, Navarez, Stanton, Riznik, Martinez, Tuki Toussaint, the battery bath, nice. Jalen Beeks, Ryan Howard, Miggy, Andy Pettit, Billy Hamilton, Pujols, Wojciechowski, Straw, Wilkerson, Flores, Miggy, Grandal, Dini, Nick Dini, <laughs> Greg Holland, Bryce Harper, Matt Davidson, Yaro Diaz. And we got Torres and Bet celebrate together in the All-Star game. It's pretty cool. Decades best team, the Red Sox from the 2000s. You can get that. Dave Winfield, that's pretty cool. Jonathan Davis, our hits are coming down. Can we get anything? Tomas Miller. Uh, and we looks like we got another foil at least. Buttry, Martin. Renfro Walsh Cologne. I like Cologne's card because he has no team. He's still a free agent. Domingo Santana, Sam Travis, and we've got Brett Anderson as our foil. Ooh, we did get, oh, we got a short print. I already know it's not a super, but I'll show you how. This is a short print. Of, and then we got a Pache behind it. All right, so we're gonna go over the short print rules. So when we look at these two cards here, we're gonna look at these little itty bitty numbers right down here. Let's see if we can get it zoomed in. You see how they both end in, I think it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, they both end in 8-8. Eight, eight. So these are common cards. And when we look at this one, see how he ends in 3-1? 3-1 is just the short print and 3-2 is the super short print. So, you know, just guessing, this is probably about $5, maybe up to 10, just depending on the market for Mr. Smiles. I do like this Pache card as well. Um, the number one prospects, 1989 baseball card, Tops baseball design. I remember this so much because it's when I really started collecting cards. I love that look and that color on the back was just beautiful. Yep, I'll, I'll sleeve that up just because I like Pache. I think he's great. Uh, another Acuna. Then we got Kim, the rookie. I can't remember. Kwan Yun Kim. Turkey Red. Our pile's falling over. Michael Hermancia. Nick Turley. Chesler Cuthert. Used to be a Royal. 
Gabe Spire is Royal, and Alex Verdugo. I think there's some hidden value in Alex Verdugo cards. It's my insight for the world. So yeah, we're not gonna open the second box today. We'll hold it off and open it tomorrow. But let's go over what we got out of this. So we got the Pache 1989, the short print Lindor, just the foil card, Brett Anderson. We got Rookie of Bo Bichette, Turkey Red, Nico Horner, Kyle Lewis, Bo Bichette, David Price, just the number 2000. And we got the GOAT, Devin Williams, Lux, Alvarez, and the Lou Bob. So that's actually not bad for the $40. Um, picking out the, the box that got all the rookie sets is what we like to see. Getting a short print as well um, eats into the cost. I mean, yeah, we'd like our foil and our oh, sorry, foil and our number cards to be like a better known player. I mean, Brad Anderson's good, and so is David Price, but they're just not big market movers. So, uh, all in all, we had a pretty good mail day. Pretty happy with that. Uh, other than that, Trent Grisham card being mauled up on the front, the corner dinged. Um, the Troy Brown stuff's pretty cool especially getting a slab as well. All right, guys, if you like this video, um, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. We're trying to grow. I'm trying to get as much uh, opening content on as I can. Um, I will continue to upload as, as often as I can grab stuff. If anybody has any insights on places I can grab cards, especially in the Kansas City market, uh, without blowing you know triple or double, triple retail prices, I would would appreciate it. And yeah, other than that, guys, play nice, play hard. We will see you on the flip side. Peace out.